protonated binder press information that we use to take those thousand foot messages you just saw. These messages are 16 mile long and 15 mile long direction. In order to be more maneuverable, this large formation has to collapse into a tighter, more agile shape. Watch as they smoothly transition from their line of press formation to a delta formation. If you look closely, you might spike the Geico Gecko riding along with the team. Search the team's YouTube channel for the Gecko Airshow commercial to see how this first flight really went. Now as a team uh, over there on the right maneuvers back to show center, they must always be aware of any potential threats to their safety. In a hostile aerial environment, here is one method of reacting to a threat that is behind them or at their 6 o'clock position. Now from straight ahead, here they come. Watch as they quickly turn into each other to confuse their attackers. There it is, folks. The guy goes guy covers six plane implosion. As the Vicks turn away, watch them reform into two different formations. The three-plane diamond on the left and the solos back at their two-plane element on the right. Now they'll set up for a classic head-on-in 4v1 air-to-air -air encounter. Let's see what happens when the two formations get a tally or a visual on each other. They'll attempt to cross as close as possible to gain an advantage to get the edge over the other guys. Keep watching now. We have four 600 horsepower World War II aircraft on the left, one more on the right approaching head on, nose to nose, closing it over 320 miles an hour. Options for the pilots are to either continue to turn and engage in a classic dogfight or roll out and bug out. Got smart, he bugged out. This leaves the diamond now right ahead of us, free to check their six or more threats, then continue their turn and roll out along the threat axis right in front of us to check for other uh, targets. and then uh, he'll come back and do a circle right in front of us. Kind of lonely out there by himself, though. Our 
supercharged Pratt & Whitney R1340 Wasp aircraft engines are kept in top shape and all by our sponsor, Tulsa Aircraft Engines. Now here Boss Arkin smoothly pitches a formation up and starts to roll. While they turn, the wingmen on the outside increase their power since they stop at greater distance, while the wingmen on the inside reduce power. Those red, white, and blue stripes you see on the airplanes, they're reference marks that help the pilots keep their exact position in formation. And the white smoke you see is an environmental friendly, paraffin based light smoke oil, approved by the EPA and used by all air show performers and military jet teams. As the diamond departs, watch for the solar to return from the left. provided by Aspen Avionics, as well as a critical instrument used by all military aircraft, an angle of attack system by Alpha Systems. Now, Geico Sky Type is started to show with one example of how to react when a threat is detected from behind. Now watch as they approach from show center in a trail formation with a bogey or an unknown aircraft overtaking him and how they react to this threat. Here it is, folks, the Sky Typer's Bomb Burst with the Solo. It's critical that each pilot keep track of the planes and knows exactly when and where to join back into a single formation. What appears random is actually a practice flow known as a rejoin. And it begins with a lead's call, left turn, rejoin, diamond formation now. As the 
team sets up for a special pass, the Geico Skytappers would like to recognize the man responsible for keeping his vintage aircraft in such fine shape. Flying towards us to show center, the Geico Skytappers would like to dedicate this next maneuver to the men, women of our armed forces and those who support the United States military. Sky Typers fan pass.